All right, hello and welcome to Overdrive, the card game. If you are familiar with the name, Overdrive has made fighting games. Fighting games where you pick a character, the character has some weapons, you can upgrade the character, and then you can battle other players, and the player with the most kills wins. As for this game, you can spot their characters inside of this game as fighters or maybe some of the classes. I'm not too familiar with all of the fighters, but I have seen a few in the game. I'm going to give a little rundown of how the game works, and then I'll give my little opinion at the very end. Overdrive, the card game, is a standard card game, turn-based. So you take a turn, and then your opponent takes a turn. Or maybe they start first, and then you go second. Whoever goes first will get a mana crystal first as well. So you start off the game with a few cards in your hand, fighters, and you have your class as your health points your main hero in a sense. You put fighters out into play to defend your health points by battling the enemy's fighters or diminishing their own health points to win. Every single turn you gain one more mana or energy to spend on higher cost units. I did mention the upgrading mechanic from their other fighting games. Similarly, in this game you can upgrade your fighters for the cost of one mana or maybe more. I haven't dove into it too much, but definitely you can upgrade your cards, they get a little boost in their stats, and it's pretty cool, it's a cool mechanic. They do have a limit, I'm not too sure how many have a limit, but I could only upgrade them once on a few cards. There is a timer, you have to play cards within the time span, once you're done, you're done, and turn. You can target cards, all of the values are pretty low in this game, so... Balance is kind of iffy, I would say. As for deck building, you can make a deck of 39 cards. Your class character counts as one, I believe. So a total of 40? For classes, it's similar to Hearthstone, where you pick a class and then you have to pick cards or fighters that are similar in subclass or attributes. As for currency in the game, I believe you get 50 coins for losing and 100 coins for winning versus a player. I say versus a player because there's a practice mode and you don't get anything for losing and there's also a tutorial. The tutorial pops up and you can get a bunch of cards for free. But other than that, I'm not too sure on other ways to get currency other than buying it yourself. As for the contents in the shop, there are only two card packs. There's 150 and 100. Here's where the game gets into my opinion. It looks lacking. I just mentioned that there's like two card packs in the whole game. One for 100, one for 150. And uh, when you only see that, it looks really lacking. Like there's no real content. The game itself, the, the design for the battle sequence is... It's not the most beautiful of things, but it's definitely... It looks a little bit simplistic and if you look around the classes there's a bunch of classes but like they're all lacking in their own individual way i don't know how many cards there are for each individual subclass or trait but when everything's dispersed and kind of restrictive like that it it feels stale it feels stale restrictive and empty uh, this is my personal opinion though. Definitely try the game out. The game is solid. You'll have a fun time doing a battle with a friend. But other than that, it's just pretty... It's like a ghost town. Like, there's a few things to view, but other than that, there's not much, not much else. That's how I would describe this game. If there were, you know, a little bit more indicators like, oh, there's like 30 cards in this pack. There's like, oh, here's a card list. You can see all the cards inside of this. Or maybe there were more ways to kind of get currency or battle or stuff to do. Then I can definitely see this game being really fun for a long time. But anyways, try the game out for yourself. I'm going to have some footage of some of the battles me and Bubs did in the ending of this video. Uh, make an opinion for yourself based on this game. It's a good game, it works and everything, but I don't know. It just it has a small amount of content, I would say. Uh, link is always in the description if you want it. Thank you to the suggestion. It was suggested over on Discord. I'm going to be going through a few more of these suggestions. We've... <laughs> 
We've gotten quite a lot recently. <laughs> and uh, I'll be doing more of them. Hopefully you enjoyed. Check out the game. If you want to join our Discord, it's in the link down below. The Discord goes to uh, TSL Studios. Just for a little clarification, I have no connection to uh, OverDrive. But uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. I will. See ya. Alright, I, I gotta say something. This is all the footage. I thought I had another battle or something, but no. Um, all of the footage went into the transactions and the examples. I actually do not have any more footage. But uh, at least you know what you're getting into. <laughs> Literally the whole battle is in the ending right here. <laughs> Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed, check out the game. The game's good, it's definitely worth a try, but uh... The only thing, from my opinion, is it's way too simplified. And restrictive. Other than that, uh, it's a good game. Try it out, link is down below in the description. Thank you guys very much, and I'll see ya!